In this video, you'll see some of the first steps for the stock project, including how to uh, make a copy of the template you're given and save it, uh, rename it, um, format the spreadsheet, and create cell references. The first thing you're going to do is open up uh, your file that I will send you called stock project template. Um, once that's open, You'll see here, uh, this is sort of a, um, a sheet where you're going to fill all of this information in, and I've just helped you get started by organizing where all of your data should go. Um, it's sent to you here as a, a view-only uh, file, which means if you try to type in it, um, you, are, you cannot type in it, so you can't change anything on here. So what you need to do is click on File and make a copy. Okay. And then there's a specific way we would like you to uh, name your file. You want to use your section. So I'm going to pretend I'm in section 60. And Ms. Nelson is my partner. So I'm going to write both of our last names and then stop the project. Okay, once I've saved uh, it with the new name, you will see once it loads that the new name appears right up here. And now, since it's my document, I am able to write in here uh, whatever it is that I need to write in. So um, that is how you save and make a copy of this. Next thing you need to do, uh, make sure you click on here, invite people, um, and either invite me or Miss Nelson, whoever your teacher is. Uh, at, uh, these are Haverford addresses. And make sure it's clicked here to edit, because lots of times Miss Nelson and I will leave notes for you on your spreadsheet, and we need to be able to edit it in order to do that. Okay? And then once you're done with that, you can click on Send. One thing that's very helpful is something called a cell reference. Uh, so let's say I wanted to invest in these three stocks, IBM, um, Apple, and Google. Say so those were the three stocks I wanted to choose. Uh, a cell reference um, is helpful because one, it lets you uh, type something one time and then not have to type it again. So if my, uh, my shares are in IBM here, I also want to write up here, it's IBM. I could just type IBM or something else I can do is hit the equal sign and then just click on this cell, which is B9. If I click on it, uh, it inserts B9 there. And once I hit enter, right, um, IBM pops up there. I could do the same thing over here, equals, and I'm going to click on now C9, and Apple will pop up there. And a quick way to do this, uh, hold down Control and hit C, and then paste it, and then go to the next cell, Control and V, and paste it, and now I will have the cell reference for Google. See, when I look at the formula, when I click here on uh, cell B2, it tells me what formula is there. It says equals B9. So it equals whatever is in B9. Okay, so I'm just going to do the same thing over here. This is going to be equal to IBM for my share sold. And then I'm just going to copy this and I'm going to paste it in both of these. Um, another thing you can do uh, is you can um, click on this little square down here. You see how the cursor changed from an arrow to a, a plus sign? Once it's there, click and hold down and then you just drag it over and it'll copy that formula into those other two spaces. Uh, so this is helpful in case I change my mind and I don't want to uh, follow IBM anymore. Maybe I want to follow GE. Well, I can just change it here where I first wrote it, and you'll see it's going to change it in those other two spots as well. And that's how cell references uh, can be helpful. Finally, I want you to see how to format the data uh, to make your spreadsheet look a little bit nicer and more presentable. So for GE, uh, I can change the color of the background. Um, let's say I want to change it to this blue color. Um, that's how you would do that. If I want to change, I, I think it'd be better if all of the uh, labels here that have GE on them have the same color. That way you could tell they're the same. Uh, Apple, perhaps I want to use green for that. And again, I'm just clicking on the cell and then clicking on this box up here. That changes the background color uh, to change those. Um, and Google 
Democrats will use an orange color for them. Okay, and there are lots of different ways you can in, uh, format these. Um, one thing that also might be helpful to make your information stand out a little bit more is to bold uh, any of the data that you need to bold or any of the labels. Um, you can also underline or make things italicized um, if you wanted to as well. And um, another option uh, is, of course, to change the alignment. So, for instance, here where it says starting price per share, see how it's set up down here on the bottom? Perhaps I'd want to make it so that it'll be in the middle of the cell. So I just click on this one here, and that'll pop this information up to the middle of the cell. Or I could change the alignment so it's also centered in the, mid in the, in the cell as well. Um, and that's another thing you can do, which is very similar to what you have on any other um, Word or any other document like that. All right, so that is how you will save uh, your document, um, how you use cell references, and a little bit on how you format uh, your information. Okay, good luck, and if you have any questions, uh, feel free to ask.